Hey everyone, welcome to the rest of the series. We're doing a Shopify series. I want to do a little bit of an update on the very first video, the whole video that prompted this series for me to show you guys how to build a Shopify store. Uh, something that I said was at that point in time, I gave you guys an early warning. Every single one of you guys saw that video. I gave you guys an early warning where I said eventually, very quickly, like in a matter of days or weeks, Shopify is going to take away their three-month trial, and they're going to bring a one-month trial in. And basically, I was telling you guys, go get that free account. You know, go get that free extra 60, 90 days on the account. And, uh, you know, it really wasn't my information. I have a connect at Shopify who works for Shopify uh, who let me know early on this kind of thing. And uh, he knew I had a YouTube channel, and so he figured... You know, why don't I tell the world uh, pretty early? I'm not going to say who it is. Obviously, I don't want that person to get in trouble. They work for Shopify. But you guys found out about it, some of you, from the video. And some of you decided to take action and create an account before the change happened. Uh, the change is here, okay? So you can't really get access to the to the, old, um, the, the ability to get three months for free. Uh, but now you still have the ability to pay $1 for a three-day free trial, Um or pay $1 for a month and then pay the normal monthlies. Basically, that video, if you had signed up on the right time, you would have saved about $80. Uh, so, you know, it's nothing crazy. $80 is not a lot of money, but uh, it's just a little help for some people. So if you're still wondering, you want to join Shopify, um, you could go ahead. I'll leave the link in the description where you could join for $1 for a month after your three-day free trial. And so if you look here, it says... Uh, sign up for a free trial and enjoy your first month for just a dollar. And once again, it wasn't like this. When I gave you guys that warning video, it was, it was I think, two weeks free trial or something like that. And then you pay a dollar for the three months. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Things happen. Uh, but anyways, if you guys are getting started or you plan to get started on the whole Shopify kind of journey... Just keep in mind, guys, when I put out certain messages where something's going to happen, I'm very serious. And this is just, once again, another one of those situations. So don't try to put things off. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started for today's update video uh, for the print-on-demand thing. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys know where we left off last was a kind of breakdown showing the type of art that I was doing. And... You know, it's in the video. I'm actually going to create a free playlist. You can click the link in the description. You guys can access the playlist. I'm creating this free content for you guys so that in 2024, when you decide you want to create a Shopify store, just click on it. You'll be able to access and watch all the content uh, completely for free. All right. So the link to the free playlist will be in the description. I'll organize the videos from or in order, uh, you know, step by step so that we don't miss anything. So what I did was I created the art. You guys saw that video. Now, I have some of the art uh, connected, or excuse me, uploaded um, to an app that I'm using for the print-on-demand. So this is the app that I'm using for the print-on-demand. Uh, it's not an American or an English app. It could be from Vietnam. It could be from Philippines. It could be from China. I'm really not sure. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it either, either, so I'll just leave the link in the description to the print-on-demand company that I'm using. You could click the link in the description. You'll be able to access it. Uh, but basically, I'm going to show you guys kind of how I'm going to do things. So basically, what I'm doing is, first of all, let's go over here to designs, product templates, and I have one already set up here, which is this template. And so what I'll do here is if I want to push something to my store, I already have it connected to my store. Uh, so I'll just go over here, I'll hit publish, I'll select on my Shopify store or whatever store I currently have connected to this application, I'll hit confirm, and then what I'll have to do is I'll have to select the data, right, the information. So what I'm personally going to do is I'm going to stick to one product type. Now you guys don't have to do this, but keep in mind a long-term view. If you haven't seen the very first video of mine, it's very important you go watch this. Because if you're watching in this video only, and you have missed the other ones, you're not going to understand why I'm only using one product. And I'll just kind of give you a glimpse of it. It has to do, or has it's attached to do with the marketing that I have. Remember, one of the marketing you know systems that we're using is we're having a blog. Another one, we're doing advertising. 
And for me, there's two things that I could do for advertising. Number one, I have to keep costs down. But number two, I have to create an ideal brand. And for me to create a brand, it has to have consistency. One of those angles in consistency is product, right? I'm not here to sell all the products in the world because this is not an SEO type brand. It's mainly going to be branded through ads, okay? The SEO, the, the excuse me, the organic traffic influx is going to be secondary, not primary. And to give you guys a little example, um, I, I don't know if I told you guys. I think I told you guys this. This was maybe episode number two. We have Exotics Pet Club, which is a website that I have close to 60 blogs now. So my virtual assistants are, are doing a great job. Uh, well, only one virtual assistant works on this website, but um, she's doing a great job. Last time you guys saw, it was all about like puppy dogs, like Frenchies. You probably see it on the third page here. Um, she added pictures to every single blog. Uh, well, maybe not pictures, but a picture. She wrote every single blog. She's doing a great job, phenomenal job. And uh, she's been working hard. And I have multiple virtual assistants. As you guys know, we have multiple blog sites. But this is one of the key components to making the money through the Shopify store long term. And it creates a potential asset to sell separately from the store. And this is, once again, one of the most important reasons why I'm not just putting a blog on the Shopify store, right? I could easily do that and sell them all in unison, but I don't want that. I want to create separate assets, number one, for diversity, and number two, um, for, you know, selling it later down the road and also gives me more control because if I'm selling the website, right, and I have the blog separately, the blog is creating the affiliate income. Does that make sense? So the blog essentially will be an affiliate for the brand, which, you know, I'll, I'll make separate videos on that kind of explaining that. But, you know, the blog is coming around well. Um, for a blog like this, because it is more competitive and I'm selling animal type products, which is just a competitive niche overall, I'm probably going to have around 300 articles um, within so far. Like I said, I have about 60. So within a period of, let's just say three, actually, no, maybe four and a half months, I'll have over 300 articles. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, let me just go ahead and shut this down real quick. And the whole concept is I'm selling, you know, or excuse me, I'm not selling. Um, I'm running ads, driving them to the store, driving the traffic to the store. And then I have the blogs that over time will curate traffic. It doesn't happen overnight. It will take months and each blog will kind of work on its own time. It's not, you know, something too fast, but over time it will add up. So in the first six months, I might not get any traffic that's significant. I might get a few thousand hits here and there. But that's nothing to, you know, worry about. That's not going to change my bank account overnight. But what will happen is, is over time, you know, you're talking 10 months, 15 months, maybe even two years. I'm looking at a span where I could make over two, three thousand dollars a day just from the traffic that's coming in. And once again, there's multiple ways to generate traffic or generate sales from the traffic. But we're going to start off small right now because that's how you should start off every brand. Start off small, do it easy. So I have different options for the products here, like different sizes. I'm just going to leave this the way they are. Um, actually, you know, I honestly don't want to. I, I don't find this categorization to be ideal. In fact, like I could just select like if you look here, we have variants of color and we have variants of size. I prefer not to, you know, in fact, if I if I go over here to my um, product templates, like if I go back and I just select like, let me just show you guys, let me let me duplicate this, right? If I duplicate this template and select this one, if you look here, I think we have, um, let me see, let me go to the edit. I think it kind of kind of shows how there is different sizing depending on the product. So first off, let me just go ahead and delete this. Let me select a different image just for the sake of the video so you guys can get an idea of like what's going on. So I could, so let's just say this image, by the way, beautiful image, works great on the um, canvas. And yes, I did upscale it. If you look at the size, 8,400 pixels by 8,400 pixels. And it only gives me an average quality print, by the way. Um, you know, it is what it is. But the, the pixel dimensions of the actual item has a max of 3030 
4,120 uh, or 210. Excuse me. So I do need to have an image that supersedes that so that it doesn't look pixelated when it's actually printed. That's very important. And remember, the company who's providing this, you know, product to be printed, they don't care if my customer charges back or cancels or or wants a refund. They don't care. They're going to make their money off of me anyway because I have to pay to get this product fulfilled. So all the weight, all the weight is on my shoulders in terms of the production of the product. But if we look here, we have different sizes. And if you notice, the different sizes have different prices. You don't have to sell posters. This is just a simple example. Uh, for me, I personally will. I'm selling the H size. And the H size, I believe, is probably the largest in height and the largest in width. Um, I know the other ones cost a little bit more, but I don't think they're as big in terms of height. Uh, so I, I can double check that obviously, but I can click update here and this will essentially be a default for that sizing. So if you notice here, let me see if we can set any settings. We can click view here and the default, it says starting at pricing, but um, let me see if we can, if we can alter this. In fact, you know what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just straight publish this so we can get the idea of just what it was supposed to look like. So if I go over here, variants, once again, I'm not planning on publishing this, but uh, I could show you here the sizing. So let me see here, or I hope I hope I could show you the sizing. Let me see. Uh, profit, retail price, cost, variant. I don't think that is the case. All right, let me try to do it this way. If we go to designs, product templates, I'll click add new design, and I'll search for poster, right? So I'll search for poster, and I'll hit the poster button. I'll hit classic design. We'll go with, let's go with a different image just to kind of spruce this up for the channel here so you guys can enjoy the content somewhat. This image is 6,120 by 9,700 and, well, it was 9,700 something. But anyways, um, so I'll go over here and we'll hit, let's see if we can hit publish and we'll publish it right to the store. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if anything changes. And then we have the variants once again. I'll just ignore the variants for a second and we'll publish it to the homepage collection and we'll hit publish. Just, just not, you know, I'm not actually gonna, you know, sell this in the exact way that it is. I do wanna configure some things and change how the template is made, but let's go ahead and wait for the publishing to complete. It only takes about, you know, 30 to 40 seconds here for it to finish. And once it's finished, it's going to end up somewhere here in my products. So it will kind of show up. So you could see here, in fact, it, it, you know, it's already done. But you could see how the different sizing exists. And this is what I want to show you guys. So we have here the sizing. We have size A, B, C, D, E, F, G, et cetera, right? And if I look at the sizing, I'm going to read it in centimeters, right? We have 60 by 90, 60 by 107. So that's actually what I'm trying to go for. Okay, 60 by 107 centimeters, which comes out to 23.6 inches by 42.1. So this is effectively the largest size for the poster, and I'm just going to keep it that way. I'm only going to sell one size. I have no interest in selling uh, multiple sizes, only one size. Um, why? Because I don't want to confuse customers. Some people might look at this and be like, what is this, you know? Uh, but and I really I don't want to give them options. That's really what I'm coming down to. Uh, when people have too many options in life, they just abandon all options and pick something else entirely. I don't want to have a chance where I can potentially decrease my conversion rate. And that's a pro tip for you guys. Sometimes in a store, if you're creating your store, it's not always a good option to have a ton of options for your customers. It might sound great. It might look great. But it's really not ideal from a conversion standpoint. And I actually learned that studying human behavior. When you give people a ton of options, they tend to abandon all options and just have analysis by paralysis. They just, uh, or excuse me, paralysis by analysis. They're paralyzed in, in real time because they're not sure what to do. So what I'm doing here, and I know that might be sound harsh, but that's just the reality of the world. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the product. First of all, the product is... Not sure why it doesn't say it's synced here. Maybe it's going to take some time to update. But if we go over here to product templates, we can see here we got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to first first off, I need 
I don't need mock-up templates, print files, branding center. By the way, you upload all your files here, the print files. This one is jacked up. I don't even know why this is taking so long. Let me just delete this, okay? I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, but uh, I'm going to have to also upload my Nismo theme on here. So if you guys are familiar, let me just go there right now. Nismo theme. Let me scroll up. Uh, Nismo theme. I'll leave a, a coupon code if you want to happen to use it. It's a really good Shopify theme. $100 off. I'll leave a link in the description. I will make a separate video on all Shopify themes, like a dedicated one. But this is going to be the one that I'm using for this tutorial. And yes, during this tutorial, you know, throughout the series, I will be running ads and I will show the sales of those ads. Uh, so you guys will see it all. And I'm comfortable for the way that I'm branding this store to use this theme. Uh, once again, I'll leave a coupon code in the description box down below if you want to get $100 off the theme. But um, uh, let me pause everything that's going on real quick. Let me go into my other computer and upload the theme uh, because I do have it downloaded. And uh, let me go ahead and handle that real quick. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm uploading both clean theme and Nismo theme. Now, some of you might say, what are clean theme, Nismo theme? So you already know Nismo theme, just spoken about it. But they also give a free gift called the clean theme, which is like their two for one deal that they're doing right now. But anyways, let me go ahead and get rid of this. You guys can take a look at that. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description, but they're both uploading now. So they are different themes and they're kind of configured slightly differently. Um, they're both great. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we're, we're, we'll be working on these. But anyways, um, let me go ahead and just rename some of them. So like, for example, I'll go over here and actually I could leave clean the way it is. Uh, for now, I'll just I'll just publish this. How about this? I'll publish this theme, which is the Nismo theme. We'll be testing different ones. Uh, it's very important to test, but, you know, we'll, we'll be working on that. But um, what I'm going to do is... What I want to do, well, first of all, let me get rid of this because that's not going to be the theme that I'm using. And I could just go over here to the products and instantly you'll see a difference in how the web page looks. There you go. Boom. Uh, now, something that I will say is this company, right, it does not give good mockups. So, I mean, no offense, they kind of do a terrible job with the mockups. So for me, with the mockups, the business that I'm going to be using to be helping me with that is place it. I'll be leaving a link in the description as well if you want to use this. Um, just much, much more uh, professional looking as opposed to an image like this. Like this is just, this is not the wave. This is just simply not going to do it. Um, and remember, all I'm using them for is the printing. In fact, probably the biggest drawback from this company, and this is the only thing I don't like about this company, is their mockups. Their mockups are absolute trash. No offense, not to be disrespectful, it's just not good. Um, you could create your own kind of mockups, which I'd probably have to make a separate video for, um, but we'll explore that a different time. But anyways, uh, product templates, uh, my goal right now is just to kind of set a a style into where we only sell, sell one product. And, and let me just show you what I'm talking about, is I have no interest in selling all these options. This is not this is not the one for me. I'll be selling the this option, J, option J. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be selling. It's the largest size, it's what I want, um, and it's just gonna be better overall. I'm gonna remove <clears throat> all these other things, uh, all these separate things. I might even do some custom code. And by the way, if you are gonna shop for any premium Shopify theme, just keep in mind, if you're going to do anything custom, they're not going to help you. Nobody's going to help you. You're going to have to either pay a developer or you're going to just have to learn how to do it yourself. Uh, some of the stuff I learned how to do myself, but most likely I'm going to pay somebody. But uh, I'll get rid of some stuff, different settings, things like that. Uh, but let me go ahead and not pay attention to that too much right now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go over here to this setting. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see what we could do here. We can duplicate view. Let me see what we can get with the view. Uh, let's see, can I edit this? If I, what if I don't want to actually edit the actual, um, let's see here, the product. I don't care about editing the product. I really care more about the options in that product. So if I go to dashboard, let me click on products maybe. 
um, or designs, product templates. Let's see. And I'm just speaking out loud here as I'm doing this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So we have all these products. And let me see. We have copies. We have the publish button. We have personalize. This is not. Let me see. Um, select this. Bulk actions. Hmm. Bulk actions, add design. This is new to me, I'll be honest. Uh, so export templates, copy to. This is not a template that I want, though. I do want to edit the option behind it. So let me just type in workable template. And once again, guys, I am speaking out loud. I don't have this thing prepared. This is, I don't want to say my first time using this, but this is one of the times, uh, one of the few times I've been working with this. Um, I know you could do it somewhere here. Uh, let's hit leaf. Let's see what we can do. Product templates, branding, discount settings, orders, obviously not orders, but designs. Let's see, publish. It's not going to be in the publish section. Let's try again. Um... Retail price. It should be in the variations, I believe. Let's go ahead and delete, download, duplicate, copy to. No, copy to should be when you want to uh, apply the uh, graphic to other products. Let's go ahead and hit edit, maybe. Once again, it's not about. I'm not trying to edit the actual product. Let's see. Yeah, that's not that's not right. Um let's get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's hit uh select extort um export. Um let's just delete these. Let's try to do this one more time. So let's go to poster. Maybe I'm missing something in the in the workflow here and by the way guys the the prices of this company are significantly better than something like a printful or printify um that's kind of why i'm testing it out and you know it is going to be something real it's not you know it's definitely not an option for me or not it's not uh, it's not a joke for me this is this is kind of something that i'm actually going to be doing uh, let me hit save. Let's see how that kind of works. So with this, if we click edit, it will take us, I bet you, to the same thing. Yep. Um, update, maybe. Let's see. And let's hit uh, duplicate, copy to. Let's see what publish does. Let's test it. Variants. Okay, so this is, this is where we're going to edit our variants. We don't want... The color, okay, there we go. So we don't want small, we don't want medium. We don't want any of this except for the J color. There we go. So we have to hit publish. So bear with me, guys. I apologize for the for the long wait times. Um, but uh, I, I just wanted to get that through. All right, so we have product collections. So before we even submit any kind of product for sale, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our print files and we're going to take a look at our animals here. So we have lions. We have cats, basically. Lions and tigers. We have wolves. We have um, panthers. Uh, we have deer. We have snakes. Uh, wolves again. So let me see what we can do. So we, essentially, we have three categories. We have cats, right? We have wolves. And we have... Um, essentially other, I mean, that's, that's kind of like the, the, the other category. Uh, so yeah, we can, we can do, um, I don't know. We, we have, all right, let me, let me just do it this way. Let's go into here. Let's go into collections and we're going to have to create a collections first, uh, create a collection and we're going to type in wolves or wolf posters. Let's be specific. Okay. Cause just in case we expand in the future. Let's keep it this way. Wolf posters. And then what we have is create another collection. 
and we're going to create lion posters just like this. And then what we're going to do is create another collection. We'll type in deer slash stag posters because technically it is a stag posters. Okay. We'll create another one here where we call this um, lion pan. We have panther and tiger posters. We can, we can set that up as a category. Um, and we have snake posters right so we'll have snake posters are we missing something we have kangaroos as well uh so let's type in um other let's just have an other category other posters right now once that's taken care of we effectively have we have a lot so right now all the images are essentially the products are not aware so i'm gonna have to delete all these Every single product that I have is being deleted. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And let's delete this as well. Okay. And now since everything's deleted, now we'll start from scratch. So we go over here. We type in poster. And mind you, we already have the optimal categories. Uh, so I'll select poster. Classic design. Select the image. And we'll start one by one. So I'll create this one. Okay. Okay. And let's go ahead, maybe adjust the way it looks, All right? So I'll just kind of move this real quick, adjust the way it looks. Once again, um, if you want to learn how I upscale images, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description because the image will not come out right if it's not upscaled, which basically means if it's pixelated, if it's stretched out, it's not going to be printed well. So that's very important. And uh, I'll go over here and hit publish. Okay, so I'll select the store. And then once I hit confirm, this is where I get to select the variation. So I'll go ahead and unselect or deselect pretty much everything here. Uh, I don't want people like, for example, to me, this is just a mistake on the producer's part, the, the developer's parts, is why would you leave the color just white? I know that it's going to be printed, but there should be no reason for a variation on color, right? If people are going to be printing their own kind of options, you know, that, that shouldn't exist. So essentially, instead of having these two very, we, we're only going to have J as the color, or as the size, excuse me. Um, but see, then this chooses not to come up. Let's see. If I if I set this here, this is what's confusing to me. A, I, and J. Nothing pops up here. So essentially, I have to select color. And then it kind of selects the size. So if I just leave this at J, then it will kind of have something, which doesn't make sense. Once again, this variant, this J variant should never exist. Uh, excuse me, this color should never exist because that's not the right color. We don't we don't work off of color. So it is what it is. But we can always do some manipulation on our other on our other end when we actually create the product. But the poster is, uh, if I can remember correctly, I think 42 centimeters, something like that. Um, I know it comes with a sizing chart, which is right here, which is, let me see what we got here. Um, it's a 607 by 107. Okay. So it's 23 inches by 42.19. Um, so 24 by 42 essentially. So I'll go over here to my product description and I will get rid of all these different sizes. And th this is not, I have no intention of providing multiple sizes. Um, so let's in, enlarge this real quick. Okay. And let me just copy and paste everything in this cell. Right. So let's go ahead and grab it. And first off, let's copy this. Or let's just type it in. It's a... 42 inch by or 24 inch by what does this say 24 inch by 42 inch okay poster All right so let's go back here and 42 inch so i'm just writing this separately i'm going to get rid of this i'm not going to keep these kind of descriptions these descriptions are very weak they're not going to convert customers whatsoever um, I'm going to let my, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, the word escapes me, but there's a tool that I use that, that handles, 
uh, the the descriptions for me. Um, but I'm just writing this on the side just for my own awareness so I don't forget. And this is going to be a um, template, effectively. This is effectively a template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this a lion. Is this a lion or a tiger? This looks like a tiger. Tiger, tiger poster, right? So anything that has the word tiger in it, it should essentially dynamically add that poster in the right category. And the way that's going to work is I'll go over here and I will see, let me see the sorting manage. We can click manage uh, default collection. All right. So I, I guess we didn't configure sorting properly, but it is what it is. Let's just go ahead and go back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave everything the way it's, you know, it is here. We're going to improve that in a little while. It says the size guide shows products. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Um, and this is the, the right size here. So what I'm going to do is notice how all this comes up. I'll just se select the right category and then I'll hit publish. Okay. So effectively, we kind of pretty much got everything ready. If I go here to the home page, there's literally nothing there uh, because the product is deleted. Um, but if we go here, the let's see what we got here, products and the product is added. So first thing I'm going to have to do is delete this old one. So this was the old one right here. I'll go here, hit delete products, delete. And then we have the new product, which should be in the right category, might I add. So, um, or the right collection rather. So if I click on here, it should tell us what collection it's in, um, or at least should indicate to us what collection it's in. Uh, we have different categories. This is, this doesn't matter. Product organization is kind of irrelevant except for collections. And if you notice it's fit right in here to the right collection, this image we're not going to use. So there's never going to be an instance where once again, we're selling more than one size. So I'm just going to delete this and I, I could delete it, you know, manually later, but this is just an example. Um, and once again, in, in some future episodes, we'll talk about kind of curating the site and making the site a little bit better, iterating on it. This is not a description that I would use for sales. We're just literally starting building the process. Okay. Uh, so we'll just hit save here. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit preview. Now, also, I want you guys to understand for all you guys who are sellers, you, if, you, if you're not going to run ads or if you are going to do the blog, you really just have to know who you're selling to. And that kind of controls your markets, your publishing. You know, obviously, if you don't plan on selling international, it's fine. You don't have to offer it. Uh, if you are selling international, it's a good idea that you offer it, you know, obviously. Um, so it all depends on where you're acquiring traffic from, those kind of things. So here we have essentially kind of what we need. Now we could do some more editing, right? Like I can edit and remove certain things here, like compare color, size guide, things like that. I, I can remove these, um, which I will, I think I could easily remove them with just the settings. Um, but I'm not too concerned. Actually, you know, what? why not? We'll do that now. I'll hit customize here and we'll go to our products. So our product section, I'll click on that. And there should be something here that allows me to handle kind of stuff like this. So once again, guys, this is another issue where it's a, you see how it says color, right? And it says white. This is a variation for me. This information is being given to by, um, the print on demand company. So there's something we're going to have to do there and I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I'm going to do, but um, it's just going to be a matter of time until, you know, it all comes together. But this is once again, one of many episodes in this series. Um, and I'll look through all the different kind of categories, but we have a few things here. Um, the thing that I like right away is we have this uh, add to cart once it's scrolled down. So if you notice, I'm scrolling down and then boom, right? So I got an add to cart right here, which is good. And, and once I have uh, reviews on the site, we'll be adding reviews to the bottom of the site as well. When you scroll down, you'll have it right here. Customer can hit add to cart, which will be nice. Um, on the same notion, since this is already saved, I can go over here to the clean theme and just see what I prefer more in the right circumstance. So I can go over here, 
go to products. I only have one product right now, but I can see kind of how things look. And I, I think it just depends on the situation. You know, we'll see how it goes. Um, for sure, the clean theme has benefits. Nismo has benefits too. So it's just a matter of which one I decide to pick. But um, for now, uh, it's just a matter of publishing all the products, working on the product descriptions, and going from there. But uh, And also mock-ups, by the way. Mock-ups are just, no offense, terrible with this brand. So that's just my opinion, but um, we're, we'll get into that. So thank you guys for watching. I think you guys have seen more than enough by now. It's 35 minutes. Uh, but, you know, it's all about learning lessons. It's all about kind of creating this kind of stuff, uh, which you're going to run into all kinds of issues. So uh, hopefully, if you guys want to see more, tap in, new video in the future. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.